Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing eight useful apps, extensions, and websites for students, all free to download. So let's get started. The first one is an extension called Alpha Text. This extension helps you enhance the readability of any web page you're on by allowing you to change the font, text size, and page colors. Personally, I absorb information a lot better if the text is bigger and not a serif font like Times New Roman, so this has come in handy quite a few times. If you're a student who needs to do a lot of article reading and researching, I think alpha text would be a nice tool to have on the side in case you come across pages that are hard to read, or maybe your eyes are getting tired and you want to switch over to dark mode great if you tend to work at night as well. You can also set your own profiles for alpha text to remember and just simply apply them to any web page. The next one is Identity, which is an all-in-one platform that helps you organize your digital life. Sometimes your organization can get a bit cluttered if you use the internet for many things like school, shopping, work, hobbies, which everyone does, but Identity puts them all into one place and helps you sort the websites or tiles into categories that are easy to access all in one place. All you need to do is pick a category from the list and click the tile to get to the website. At the same time, the categorization helps you focus your attention where you need it. So for students, you can easily make a whole category for school and just make tiles for all your school websites so everything is in one place. Not only that, but you can also make notes on the side. For instance, you can create to-do lists that integrate tiles for even more efficiency and organization. You can also set due dates as reminders. Overall, it's a very visually aesthetic and organization-driven app that I think you guys will find useful for streamlining and simplifying your workflow. I totally encourage you guys to give it a try. I'll have a sign-up link in the description box if you're interested. Next is an app called ItzyCal for my fellow Mac and Calendar users. With just a click on the menu bar, you can access a tiny version of your calendar and see all your events and holidays for the next however many days you set, and that's all it is. It's very simple, but very convenient. Everything from your Mac calendar app is integrated into ItzyCal, so it just serves as a shortcut to your calendar without requiring you to open up the actual calendar app itself. You can also add events onto your calendar straight from ItzyCal. You can quickly add, edit, and check things like deadlines, so this is really useful just for the convenience factor. Next is an extension called Coffee Lings, which is a very simplistic coffee themed mood tracker. You simply just click to add how you're feeling today, and if you do it every single day, you'll eventually have a view of your entire year like a 365 day mood tracker. This will kind of let you see how your year went in terms of how stressed, happy, and sad you were. I always encourage students to prioritize self-care as well, which is why I recommend a simple mood tracker like this. And because I know some of you will be asking, the next extension is not as useful, but it's fun. It's called Tabby Cat, which will surprise you with a new animal every time you open a tab. Occasionally, there's really special animals that are hard to come across, like some rainbow ones, so it's always fun to click open a new tab to see if you will get one. You can pick your favorite animal, and with that set, every new tab you open will be a version of that animal. Overall, it's just something fun to add to your study space to maybe cheer you up if you're feeling stressed out. The next app is Tiles for Mac which is a window management system that lets you split your screen and position different windows at a snap. I know Windows users already have this feature built in. It's really useful, especially if you're working on a small MacBook screen and you wanna do some computer tasks side by side. You can simply snap things into place and have like four windows equally split on the same screen. Good for multitasking or things like research and note-taking. The next app is Cheat Sheet, which is an app that lets you view all the shortcuts of the application you're in by pressing and holding the command key. From the screen that pops up, you can also browse and choose to do those functions without having to press the shortcut. This would be useful for students or just anyone who is learning to use new applications, or maybe you want to learn new shortcuts to make your workflow more efficient. I know this has been really useful for me in Photoshop and Premiere Pro where I do my video editing. Lastly is Touch Bar Timer for those of you who have the MacBook Pro with the Touch Bar. It's a really simple but versatile timer. You can use it for pretty much anything from timing your study sessions, like if you want to use Pomodoro, timing your presentations, speeches, or even for doing experiments because this app actually automatically generates a spreadsheet of your timer use so you can see how long you timed things for and when. Lots of different use cases for this so anyone will find this at least somewhat useful. So that's everything that I wanted to share today. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.